What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? This is Clutch going rogue. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with the video that you feel me. Angela in Big Ed. <laughs> what? Big Ed. Big Ed. <laughs> Embarrassing Meltdown. 90 Day, 90 day fiance. fiance. Big Ed. Big Ed, man. Damn, man. How big is Ed? Just big. <laughs> Let's see. I think this is the one with no neck, too. Oh, man. We're going to check this out. Should be uh, quite interesting. A lot of them are just quite interesting and not in a good way. In a what the hell is going on? Yeah. Y'all need to get married? some type of help. Yeah. Something's not right. But, so uh, we're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the road page, man. Let's get right into this one. Let's bro. go. Right, right. Don't we all this? There, right. Oh. Yep. Right there, yes. Now run. Jesus Christ. It's really nice to see Kalani and Asuelu finally bonding again. It makes total oh, sense that the best name, way man. to save their marriage is to play some blindfolded <laughs> water balloon game. So Kalani, we know your husband about? has been a lying cheater and has been an all-around goofball for the last five years. Have you ever considered blindfolding him and having him pick up a water balloon? Ah! And that's why I cheated. <laughs> so this show is shaping up to be... Oh, he is on there. Be as horrific and disastrous as you'd expect. And I must apologize because I too thought we were done with Big Ed, and yet here he is sitting Big smugly Ed, on a couch. Do you think he's him. gotten any more mature whatsoever over the last few years? No, of course not. He's like Benjamin Button when it comes to maturity. And just when you get sick of Ed, which is immediately, it cuts to Angela. And when Ed and Angela get together, <laughs> something bag. really weird happens. Their energy feeds off each other, and they form some kind of trashy, screaming douche duo. But anyway, first we're gonna go back to Kalani and Asuelu, because there's a whole lot to talk about when it comes to the hall pass and it turns out that Kalani has feelings for the guy that she used the hall pass on which isn't surprising because the guy isn't Asuelu so that's already a step up do you really have feelings for him <laughs> yes GG's yes. bro yep there you, go. you out of there you gave her a hall pass what kind I of know I'm come from a little island I took Asuelu up on the hall pass I've only been with Asuelu and I just wanted to see what it was like. Well, I'm guessing oh. it was better. Now, the marriage yeah. was already over G before the, the hall passed, yeah. but once Asuelu did that, he just guaranteed its death. It he only sober. told Kalani that he was okay with it because he thought she wouldn't actually do it, but yep, he clearly doesn't late, know her as boy. well as anybody else who's ever seen their relationship. <laughs> once I got to know this other person better, I ended up liking the other man. Oh wow, what a big surprise. She ended up liking the first person that's not Asuelu that she's talking to. When the bar is this low, there's really, you know, actually forget about a bar. There is no bar. Asuelu has destroyed the bar. He has buried the bar. I'm done. I'm really mad and upset. And uh, but really? why? Like what is, what is the difference? You still want to talk to him. <laughs> so you think it's okay that? what you did because you never kept a connection with them. Uh... Is that what you're saying? But then because I kept... Wait, what was that? Did he just say, I don't know? What was that reaction? Is that what you're saying? But then because I kept... I think this dude just had a memory wipe mid-conversation. That's the only explanation. I'm so sorry that I hurt you. I don't want to keep hearing. I'm so sorry. What do you want me to do? I came back and I'm changed. But I, now I am I changed. See, like, you guys have... Goodly poop. Yeah. And it's really painful I'm because done. I don't... Because it's what? Kiss, Why is kiss, it painful? Because kiss... And you got your <laughs> What is the difference? He, he can get you pregnant, though. He, what the does that have to do with anything? Yep, as long as you can't get pregnant, cheating isn't bad. That's how it works, according to the mind of Asuelu. I understand he's trying to argue that it's worse to keep an emotional connection with the person, but dude, you opened up this can of worms. You yeah. know, you were the first one to cheat, and then you allowed her to have a hall pass. Yeah. I do think her decisions are pretty dumb at this point, too, and that they should just get divorced. Yeah. But I also don't really expect someone to make good decisions when they've had to put up with Asuelu for like eight years. Jeez. If you got your then I what's the difference? That's a big difference. <laughs> that nigga Leo face. Island. That's wild. That I mean, it's not face. a difference, but tells a tells a, 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 a telling picture. I mean, hey, that's what you get. Mm. I mean, that's, you gave her the hall pass. She took the hall pass. That's crazy. That's that's just what it she is. So you got your suck and I suck. Damn, that's tough to hear, huh? It's over. All right, let's take a quick break from these two and jump ahead to see what else is going on. There was a big controversy during the therapeutic no water balloon man. competition. Ed actually cheated. He could see through his blindfold. This caused a huge ripple effect that eventually led to a fight between he and Liz, and it's pretty fascinating to see unfold. Right, right, stop, stop, slow down. Right. Sh that. 
I think he can see. Don't cheat, big guy. You know you're Come not on, listening bro. to anything I'm saying. Hang on, he can see over here. Dog, everybody, I can see that you can see. And I ain't even there. Think you start running football drills. Right, you start <laughs> ladders and shit. Bro. Come on, bro. For sure. Hey, everybody's way too quick to jump to conclusion. Maybe he's channeling Patches O'Houlihan like Peter LaFleur at the end of Dodgeball. <laughs> this game is basically just a metaphor for Ed's life. He's just standing there completely ignoring Liz and cheating to win. So anyway, everybody points out that Ed is cheating because it's pretty obvious and he basically admits it. But then he won't let it go and starts to complain about Jovi and Angela breaking the rules. Hey, Jason, he didn't run across the line. Isn't that a disqualification? That's bull****. Ed, let it go. So he cheated and then now he wanted to let it go. Let it go. You called me a cheater, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you was God. cheating. Ed turned around and called me a bitch. I, mean, he just I don't know, man. His... Personally, I wouldn't be laughing. He has to, be to pretty... turn around he his whole body. He got to. Nigga ain't got no fucking no neck, nigga. So you gotta. This nigga turned his whole body. You have to. Damn. <laughs> For him, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. Turn around and turn. called me a bitch. I don't know, man. Personally, I wouldn't be laughing. I'd be pretty scared. Imagine hearing somebody call you a bitch and you look over and you see this guy swing towards you. Mm -hmm. I would be very intimidated by his physical presence alone. So this kind of dies down for now. But later on this night, Angela and Ed and a bunch of. And he's married. Yeah, man. Well, not. I ain't going. Yeah, but. Others get in a hot tub together, and I mean, can you yeah, imagine how somebody. horrific that is? I just feel bad for all of the guests we're that were likely Nick. staying at the hotel at the same yep. time that had to hear Angela's cackle every single night mm -hmm. echoing throughout the building. Yeah, God, yeah. Do you not get a lot of attention? Because I get a lot of attention. The way it comes I, off, you, it, it seems like well, you're you making don't. a negative observation. And if you no, I'm not making. I'm asking a God, question. No, just, there's a difference just in you cutting me off. Just don't exist. Do you remember a few years ago on one of the tell-alls when Ed was talking about how it was his first time going to therapy and how he was going to change for the better and all this? But you can't just go to therapy and expect that alone to change you. You have to want to change as a person. If you still want to be a douche, you're probably going to be one. And when mm -hmm. Ed is on these shows and all of the cameras are on him, he cannot help but be the center of attention. When somebody comes out and makes a blanket statement that I'm like, no, I take over and every you just cut me off as I'm talking to no, you no, about people, it. Well, hold on, hold on. You have point. a tendency to this always say point. what you gotta say, but nobody else can say anything. He does this for, I and I talk to him for Yes, I know. <laughs> he farts like this. Because wow. he don't know how to show his emotions that's all i'm saying need to stop enabling and hey. start working on it i don't know why angela is butting in to defend ed like oh poor ed he's just too afraid to show his emotions if only he could just open up more and blah, blah, blah. no look at his <laughs> smug face right here when yeah, somebody defends his shitty behavior he has not learned a thing even when we was doing the obstacle thing yeah, you threw out oh bitch you understand why i called you a bitch I can't do it. why you, explain that, this to me and then yeah, that's gonna be the last you, time you're gonna okay. do that yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah, don't brother, worry. Because, come on, brother. God. Yeah, come on, bro. Because that would have been, been the last. That, for first and the last time. First time it would have been like, Wait, hey, hey no, Nick, who the fuck you talking to, right. nigga? Can you do this? <laughs> <laughs> I would have got kicked off the show. Yeah, I would have. Can got you do this? Off. I would have. Can you look over to your right? Can you look over to your left? Everybody turn around without moving their shoulders. <laughs> nigga. Look behind you. No neck ass bitch. That's what Let's I would have said. Call me. Call him. Ed's going to break it down for you as to why he called you a bitch. Imagine <laughs> hearing that, that from this bro. guy who cheated in a therapeutic water balloon game. Possibly the biggest bitch move of all time. Whatever, man. <laughs> yeah. Don't I'm try to break it. What, what do you mean? No, no, no. You're not going to talk down to me. I'm not Liz. You better watch who you step to when you're going to call another man a bitch because you might get your feelings you, loud. Do you think I'm yeah. afraid of anybody? Yes, I do think that. I, I think you're afraid of a lot of people, and you should be, dude. Big Ed trying to act like a tough guy is one of the funniest things I've ever Funny, seen. Bro. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be no, 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 afraid. You think I'm afraid of anybody? No, I don't care who they are. Reckless. I'm a young cunt. Come at me, and I'll take you down. Can you imagine this guy taking somebody down? I mean, literally anybody. I can't even just picture what that would look right. like. I'm genuinely yeah, curious. To his left. Yeah, maneuver around. around. I don't think you are. He's gonna roll and do cartwheels. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> 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 
right. Why is Angela being the voice of reason? That's the scariest part of the whole thing. She should be drunkenly yelling and screaming at everybody. She definitely you called me a cheater. It was a stupid game. Okay. And you high five with your wife. I never called you a cheater. No, I he did too. She she did. Did. I never called you a cheater. I guess I knew it. That's the funniest part is I don't even remember Kelly calling Ed a cheater, even though if he did, everybody else did on the beach too. So I don't know how he ended up I mean, singling him out. And the other thing is Ed did actually cheat. So everybody was just pointing out a fact. I'm actually a bit surprised that this didn't somehow turn into some sob story about how nobody ever picked him to play games with them when, when he was little. She didn't. You made a full she statement right there. Never she did that. She said, I, I, I was yeah, like, and I gave up. That's my lady. I'm gonna have to. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I love how none of this actually has anything to do with Angela, but she just can't take the fact that she's not screaming over everybody. It makes sense that she this relates to Ed so much because they both love to hear themselves talk. You admitted you cheated. They knew you cheated. And the sad so part why is... the f are we still That's what I wanted to say, but then... Angela, real quick, real quick. No, don't. Don't. <laughs> I wanted to really this is going to go down in the history books. The drunken 90-day hot tub Big Ed trial. Imagine trying to go out to the pool area to use the hot tub and you see this mess, you know? It's a hot tub meant for like two it's... people and there's six of them in here. Yeah, Actually, no, there's only five. Shouldn't Angela be holding an iPad with Michael on it or something <clears> like that to scream at? Michael, you son of a bitch, if I drop you in this hot tub, it's your fault. <laughs> I really say that like you admitted that you cheated and then I'm going to be in the wrong for not defending you. No, no, no. Because yep, that's exactly what happens. Later on, Big Ed is like, Liz, you didn't defend me. You're never defending me, Liz. Why am I going to defend you? Because you're in the right. Maybe like, but you know both jumped on really me, good. and I'm going to jump on you. Nobody That's jumped fair. on you. Nobody you jumped on me. We were in our corner, and you we jumped on me, bitch. All right. Right, there we go. Yeah, that's right. You better not mess with Ed. He'll just keep calling you bitch multiple yeah. times. How do you like that? Does there that hurt go. your feelings? There you may have nothing creative or like, original to say. And get you up, may Ed. be able to get, <laughs> get up, Ed. Like, that's it. Let's, let's hop out this hop to Where's the Ed? security? Let's... Hey, y'all gonna have to Ed. Security should be coming in here right now. <laughs> Ed. To stop what's about to happen. I got you. I got you. Bitch. Kick him over like I a weasel you, wobble bitch. if he like, approaches you. But he'll call you bitch. That's for sure. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you a bitch. It's hey, uh, please, Kelly. But I did I the first time. Uh, shut the uh, up, head now. Like, hold on one second. What the shut the. You see, there really is no productive solution that will come out of talking to Big Ed. You really just have to look away and ignore Big Ed. But anyway, something really unexpected happens. You could tell that Liz yeah, got kind of annoyed with him. Angela right. splashing water on yeah, both her it, and it Ed. So when she gets out of the hot tub, she calmly tells Angela that she's tired of her talking over everybody. So Angela takes this as an invitation to absolutely lose her mind. I'm sorry, I love you, Angela, but you speak over everybody. Let's oh, go. bitch, don't go there, mother. I call you a bitch because I will hey, straighten your now. I my got the right one now. Uh, I hate when people act like this, as if pissing yeah. her off is uniquely special to her. Like, oh, you got the right one now. You pissed me <laughs> off now. Just by saying that you talk over everybody, and now you're going to prove that by screaming Jesus, over everybody and actually scaring annoying. people that are staying in the He's hotel. The next morning, too. they have to yeah. have like a talk with her and tell her to take it easy and settle down and be quiet. And she's like, oh, who ratted on me? Which one of you some bitches ratted on me? Michael, <laughs> did you do it? And they're like, no, everybody heard you. There was kids up all night crying. They thought the Blair Witch was here. No, 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 don't apologize. You got the right one now. Don't you don't walk away now. I'm not Ed. I'm not Ed. Took her long enough to stumble out of the hot tub and through the gate to chase after Liz. Do not. I'm being very calm. Listen, if it's you're going to run that mouth, you back. I don't deserve what you just said. I ain't said talk to me. I that was Molly. No, bitch. Wait, why the hell is Big Ed just off to the side clutching a towel, right. cowering in fear? I mean, to be fair, this would know. be my reaction if I saw Angela in what public just screaming at people. Here? I don't know what the hell is happening. Bouncing, I'm not Ed. I'm, I'm not, not running my mouth. I'm not. Ed. I when did I? Hey, yo. When did I ever? That's why it is. When did I ever talk, that, no I ever talk over you? Just give me one example. Mm -hmm. you. Yeah, nah, she got it would. It would have. It would have went down quick. Yeah. Super quick. Like nah. I'm trying to figure out why she doing all the girl ain't even. She's non-confrontational. She's yeah, not bro, yelling. Man. She's just talking. She, she, she didn't away. find the right one. She, she would have found the she, right one. She would have fucked that round and found out. She keep babe. on fucking around. She, she will she, find out eventually. She, you will find out. You gotta you can't find even her. give me an example. You see, you're full of shit. You don't even know. I, I never talk over people <laughs> ever. I'm never doing that. I never scream in people's faces. We've got guests here. Thank you. Let's go. Man, he didn't say nothing. I'll jump in orange, bitch. I'll jump in orange, motherfucker.
Look at the scene she is causing here, and she has the audacity to ask who ratted on her the next morning. Are you crazy? I would actually take my chances with the Blair Witch over Angela. So unsurprisingly, oh, Ed does not come to Liz's defense at all, of and course. then afterward, I blames there. her for it and says it was all her and it's her fault. You don't defend me. You don't. And I came clean today, and I apologized. I literally had to sit there in the okay. juicy quiet the this whole time. No, you didn't. Liz, you got what you deserved. There's got to be a joke. Whoa! Right you deserve that. Ask Chillin. Nobody should be defending you, whether it's just There's your friend or your fiance, if you're making that stupid of decisions and this acting like an real, asshole. Bro. Not only do I think Liz did not deserve that kind of reaction from Angela, but what she said really wasn't even that bad. I think she was just like, I love you, Angie, but you talk over everybody. And the Ange Angela was like, bitch, bitch. God, can you mm -hmm. imagine being pinned between Angela and Ed? I, that sounds that sounds like the worst experience of, of all time. Anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. That's I awful, hope bro. everyone enjoyed it. And there will be that's, another video very soon on 90 Day awful, UK. Bro. Have what a wonderful hell, night man. and a great week, everybody. I don't, I don't get it. Like I don't, don't I, get it. I don't, I don't feel like this is real. Like man. this, this gotta be fake. Gotta be for for entertainment purposes. Cause There's... fam, like ain't no way in hell you gonna go crazy like that just for somebody saying I love you, but you talk over people. And she get out the pool, the jacuzzi, just ready for war. Yeah, this is just. And then just old boy calling dude the b word over and over. It's like, <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. TV. Yeah, for it's sure. Real for sure. life. Gotta be. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Right. Anywho, man. Man, if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Make sure you want to like, subscribe. Let us know what else we need to be checking out. For sure. Any more malarkey craziness like this, uh, <laughs> it's just out of here. But continue to spread love. Be love. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me